Hi friend, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Erin and welcome to the empire I am building. I'm trying out a new intro. Let me know if that didn't gag you down in the comments. <laughs> Today we're in my closet because for the past three months, January through March of 2023, I have tried a low buy with my clothing. Originally it was supposed to be a no buy because I thought my spending was way too out of control when it came to clothing and food. If you've seen my budget videos, you know what I'm talking about. I originally wanted it to be no buy, but then I ended up spending some money on new clothes and I haven't bought new new clothes in years. I mean years. I thrift everything, but I really wanted specific pieces that I thought I was missing. So I bought new new. And my coworker is so gracious and kind. Whatever she doesn't like in her closet, she throws on a pile in the floor and then she brings it to the office so I can try it. And then whatever I don't want, I give to my friends. So it's kind of a trickle down method. I'm gonna show you the clothes that she's given me the past three months, as well as other friends and family, the clothes that I have purchased and why I purchased them. We're gonna go through the outfit repeating moments of the past three months that I enjoyed this winter. So let's go ahead and get started. Everything you see on the bed right now is the things I have received within the past three months. This pile is brand new and I'll talk about that in a second. This pile was thrifted. These were all gifted to me by my coworker. Let's go pile by pile and talk about each. The whole buying spree started with these shoes. I got all four of these from a company called Lulu's, which I believe is a fast fashion company that doesn't have ethical practices. That's not typically where I would like to put my money, but at the moment I didn't have a lot of money and I wanted these. So it wasn't the best sustainability practice. They've been purchased and with good reason. These are some very high heels that I find uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm keeping them. <laughs> Should I return them? I don't know. This is how it started. I was sitting down at my desk with my black pair of jeans on. They're cropped a little bit. They were coming up and showing my socks and part of my calf. And I was like, this is not a great feeling. Have it like ride up and have that extra skin showing. It also just didn't look good. So I wanted to find something that was a lot higher in calf profile. I have a pair of Blundstone heels that I got when I used to work at a shoe store, which I will sell now that I have these. I wore them last night and walked around a bit. So I think I broke them in a little bit, but they are higher than what I normally have. I also got this white, very soft top that's it only goes to about here, so you have to wear like really high-waisted stuff with it. The reason I got this was because I accidentally washed my one white sweater with something blue. I also fucked up my shower curtain, my white shower curtain, and now it's partially blue. So that I'm gonna die in a future DIY, but that's why I got this white sweater, so it would replace that. Plus it's much more feminine and flattering, where the other one felt rumpy, frumpy. Apparently this is my new favorite color, this rust. It's a trend, maybe. I see two other pieces on my bed with the exact same color. Maybe it goes with my hair and that's why I liked it. But this is super cute on and it's very soft. I wore this last night with the boots. This detail, this ribbing, if you will. Same with this white shirt. It's got the ribbing and it's super soft. I once helped my friend McCall clean out her clothes. And she said the only reason she keeps clothes is for texture. She has to have clothes that are soft on her body or she won't wear them. She'll you know and we'll take them off so that's what I'm starting to do is like reevaluate the clothes I have and the texture that they are if they're not soft they're not 100% comfortable they will be leaving my house okay this one was a fun purchase the other two they were all fun they were all fun. Not necessary. This one's a bodysuit. It's so cute. It's very springy. And when I bought this, it was a nice spring day with sunshine in Washington. You don't get that often. So I was tempted by the weather when I bought this. It's almost like corset cinching the torso. And then you wear high-waisted pants with it. Doesn't see any of this mesh. And it looks really sexy. Oh my gosh. I look like an adult in this. Same with this. And the other one, I feel super elevated. It's about damn time. Those were the new, new pieces I bought and why. I apologize if you can hear my heating unit. One thing I touched on was my Blundstone's heels. You can see these don't have a high calf profile, obviously a smaller heel, but these I'm going to take out of my house. I'm gonna try and sell these because I brought something else into my house that will serve a better purpose. I also wanted to sell these after I cleaned them up just to kind of offset the purchases I made. These pieces right here also had a reason for purchase. I have wanted a black puffer vest since high school. Did I need to get it right now? No, but I got it. I thrifted it and I think it was 
a little pricier. It was like $11, but it's worth it. I've worn it in my outfit repeats several, several times within this past winter. I've gotten my money's worth, let's say that. You've seen this dress a couple times now. Well, I know I didn't have a long sleeve dress. Is that true? I didn't have a long sleeve dress that was also long, so that's why I got it. I thrifted this and then I had a black belt that I've worn with other dresses, but obviously it didn't go with this. So then I was like, I need a belt. So then I thrifted this belt too, which works perfectly and I love. This is one of my favorite outfits. So justified. This pair of jeans absolutely did not need, but I bought them for 20 bucks off of my coworker's daughter. The buttons here, the stitch was undone. That's how she received them. And she was like, well, I don't want them. So I just took them to a lady in the mall and she stitched them up for $9, which was great. I already have a pair of high-waisted, true denim color ripped jeans, so I did not need another pair. The only reason I ended up buying these off of her was because my other one gained weight, so I started to feel like they were a little tight and I wanted them a little baggier. These ones are really tight around the waist, but then are loose around the hips. I really like wearing them because they are super comfortable. They do fit. They're not the most flattering though. They do give me a little bit of that pouch in the front, but I'm not really complaining. just gave me a whole bunch of clothes. Look at this. It's just, it's full. <gasps> Let's try it on. Something I really want to do is have a color party where you get those like color swatches and figure out what season you are or what colors look good on you because I obviously love this, this burnt orange color. When I tried them on last, they were tight in the thighs, but they're corduroy so I wonder if I just keep wearing them without washing if they'll fit a little better. They are skinny jeans. So these are all the clothes that I've gotten from my coworker. These are men's shorts. These are her husband's. From forever ago but they are high-waisted perfect teal shorts with pockets that go down all the way these ones are also her husband's which i find hard to believe these are rob Lauren. they fit like a glove they just need to be clean they've got fuzzies everywhere also another favorite piece i've gotten from her this maxi dress that that belt goes perfectly with and you guys ain't more as you've seen she had a lot of gray items which I don't blame her, gray is versatile, gray is great. These are two that I ended up keeping after both times she gave me clothes. There's also another one that has a hood. I think it's dirty somewhere. What's so funny is that I bought the black bubble vest. I wanna say two days later, she gave this to me, which is like a green puffer vest with like a fake fur collar. It's super cute in different outfits. This was also on my outfit repeat list to offset all the things coming into my house i gotta get rid of stuff so this is the gigantic pile that my coworker has given me friends and family as well as things that i've personally decluttered so please enjoy the next few moments of me separating these clothes into tops and 
and bottoms and I'll show you in a second what I and JT my husband have taken out of our closets and this is kind of the sustainability practice I like to do if things come into my house I want that many or more to leave my house maybe not in the same category but just to feel less overwhelmed with the fact that I just brought more into the house if you're like that let me know in the comments below because it's like the only way that shopping makes me feel good nowadays is to make sure I get rid of stuff too the reason I am separating all of this is to prepare for a clothing swap with a bunch of friends. That's where you bring as many clothes as you want and can leave with as many clothes as you want. This is all the things that my husband and I have gotten rid of, personally. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. It means a lot to me. I also really appreciate you consider subscribing to my channel. It does help me out a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video either just like looking at fashion videos, which I enjoy. It gave you some confidence for future intentional purposes. Everything I talked about that I bought, somewhat intentional. All the pieces that I have bought, I completely love. There's nothing that I'm not showing you that I've bought and like returned or bought and just given away. Everything I've bought, I've actually loved and I do wear. So I'm pretty proud of the purchases, even though I'm focusing on low to no buy clothing. And going forward throughout the months, let me know if you would like another video like this. Going forward, I want to have very minimal clothing purchases. I don't really buy accessories. I keep the same ones. I don't really want to buy a lot more. I want to evaluate what I'm wearing and see if that can make an informed decision on other purchases. Meaning I'm not going to buy something just because I don't have it. Is it really a piece that deserves to be in my closet that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. If there's something that I want to get rid of, I want to make sure that I'm replacing it with something that makes more sense for the way I like to feel in clothes. So with all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you did enjoy this kind of sustainability video. I really enjoy your feedback and you will see me on the next one. Goodbye!